NBC has walked back its decision to hire Ronna McDaniel as a political contributor, firing her after top personalities from the network publicly aired grievances on their programs. This isn't the first time newsrooms have revolted over who and what should be allowed on their platforms. In 2020, the decision to run an op-ed by Republican Senator Tom Cotton in the New York Times led to staffers being fired following criticism from fellow employees. In the piece titled Send in the Troops, Cotton said the military should be deployed to George Floyd protests. Times employees condemned their own paper on social media over publishing a divisive op-ed they say put their lives at risk leading to an editor's note days later saying the piece never should have published. Two opinion staffers were fired for letting it hit the press. Another staffer resigned, criticizing the Times for bending the knee. In another example of newsroom turmoil, CNN staffers condemned the network for allowing former President Donald Trump to participate in a town hall last year. CNN's Anderson Cooper and Christian Amanpour were among those questioning the CEO's decision to give Trump a platform, openly expressing concerns Trump spread lies to their audience, specifically over the 2020 election. The CEO was fired weeks later. Like Trump, Ronna McDaniel raised questions about election fraud in 2020. And while she ultimately says Joe Biden won fair and square, she's still labeled as an election denier. And it was for that reason NBC and MSNBC personalities said her affiliation with them would hurt their credibility. MSNBC's Rachel Maddow said McDaniel would not be featured on the channel for the same reason someone else isn't allowed on the cable outlet either. So far, he's just giving his normal list of grievances. We don't consider that necessarily newsworthy, and there's a cost to us as a news organization. We do not intend to carry these remarks live. Um, as we have said before in these circumstances, there is a cost to us as a news organization to knowingly broadcast untrue things. There is a cost to us as a news organization of knowingly broadcasting untrue things. That is a fundamental truth of our business and who we are. Some Republicans critical of NBC for firing McDaniel say it's the continuation of cancel culture. NBC hosts say they welcome Republican voices, but add there's a difference between a conservative and someone who is an election denier. The political division that we're seeing within the media is a reflection from the outside, with the political temperature around the country running hot just months out from a 2020 rematch in this year's general election.